The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is June 29th, 2020. This is a remake of a video I just put up about 15 or 20 minutes ago. For some reason, the volume uh, is not working on the previous video. So here is a new copy of it uh, with the actual volume up turned up very, very high because for one reason or another, it seems to be my screen capture software that is having audio problems. Okay, guys, so there's been a new update with regards to Sharon Tracy Gale. Uh, the Court of Common Pleas of Delaware County in Pennsylvania uh, has updated their criminal docket for Sharon Gale. Um, here we go. There is a new update here, motions hearing uh, on July 14th, 2020 at 9.30 a.m. with R Judge Richard Capelli, which is, of course, the same judge that has been hearing this case the entire time. She is still in custody. This motion hearing has to do with the following, I believe, uh, documents that have been filed by Sharon herself which, uh, of course, have not gotten a motions hearing as of yet because of the close down of the court. So we have here, excuse me, case correspondence uh, that doesn't actually give us any indication as to what that is. My assumption would be that they have lumped these four things together. And that is, of course, the case correspondence of Roman canon law, which, of course, will not work out for her. We've seen that filed uh, in the past with other Moors. Um, Roman canon law doesn't have anything to do with uh, the United States uh, codes and uh, laws in terms of what would be something that would be pertinent to this case. So um, that, of course, is just uh, garbage that's been filed. And then rights that cannot be taken away is basically just a statement. Um, and then, of course, the general civil orders. I have not seen a copy of that yet. My guess would be this is the majority of the Sovsit stuff she's filing in a last ditch attempt to try to get this case dismissed, which of course will not work. Uh, these were filed all in February, but I believe consolidated as uh, case correspondence only in the listing here from the 18th of March. Of course, we know that all motions have to be considered by the judge. That's what the motions hearing is about and for, and that is going to be moving forward and taking place once again, July 14th, 2020 at 9.30 a.m. Now, that's a good thing because that means this case is starting to move forward. So real quickly, I do want to also let you know that we have over here um, the uh, case of DeCorey Pitts. He has, of course, it has, of course, been adjudicated and we are at... Uh, he was found guilty at trial. Um, the sentencing we've been waiting for since the 27th of April. And as you can see, this has not changed. Oops, sorry about that. This has not changed. Uh, we are not looking at anything that's showing us a date uh, where it was continued to. So he has evidently not fallen into the category of uh, a rescheduling as of yet, but I will keep an eye on it and let you know when he does. Uh, regardless, this is a good sign with regards to the case moving forward on Sharon. Um, it may be at this point, it won't take us till, uh, next year in order to get an actual trial. Um, so that is the news on the Sharon Tracy Gale docket and the, uh, links of course, for you to view it for yourself will be located in the description below. Thank you.